You guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's another Fitness Friday video, so I know you're ready to sweat. Today's exercise, workout. Today's workout is all about chest and tries. Ladies, we cannot neglect the chest nor the tries. We don't want them flabby bingo wings. Some of us already have them and are trying to get rid of them. That's the goal. So don't worry, this is a beginner's guide. This is a dumbbell, a little bit of cable work, nothing that you need to be afraid of whatsoever. Use whatever weight you feel comfortable with and work your chest, girls. It is so important to have a balanced overall physique. And you might be thinking, why are we doing chest and tries on the same day? Let me tell you, majority of the exercises you do, especially the ones today, when you're working chest, you're gonna be feeling it in your triceps, okay? Let me just warn you, those will go before your chest muscles. So naturally, they just go perfectly together. And any time you have your elbows bent and you're extending them, that's your tricep that you're working. And that's the majority of chest. You know, we're pressing up chest, chest press. And if you ever feel like you don't wanna use this workout as a whole, you are more than welcome to pick apart certain exercises that you see that you like, tad into your full upper body day, tad into your own chest routine. I'm really just here to help and hopefully give you some good ideas, some good tips, and some good workouts that you can do. If you have any questions, you can always comment them down below and I will answer them for you. You can also follow me on Instagram and ask me any questions there as well. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. That way you never miss a video. Once again, don't forget that everything about this workout is linked in the description box below. So you can screenshot it and take it with you to the gym. So with all that being said, let's go sweat. First up is dumbbell bench press. I wanted to show you how to get into this position by sitting up straight with the dumbbells on your thighs and then as you sit back, you will put them into the correct position. So with dumbbell chest press, I find this a lot less intimidating than being underneath a bar because I can work my way up with weights. I can do with what I feel comfortable. So the key to this movement is as you breathe out, you're gonna want to use your chest to push the dumbbells up. You're gonna lock your arms at the top of the lift and really squeeze your chest, try to hold it for a second, and then begin coming down slowly. A big tip is, because this is not a straight bar and it is two separate dumbbells, it is so important to make sure that you are maintaining full control of the dumbbells at all time. You want to be lifting and raising them at the exact same time, even though one muscle might be stronger than the other side. Try to keep it as even and maintain full control throughout this entire exercise. Now this is a super set, so I'm going to drop one dumbbell and immediately go into my tricep exercise. I'm just holding one dumbbell exactly over me. I'm keeping my elbows in and super tight and I'm pretty much just pushing and pulling the weight back toward me. Really try to pinch that tricep each time you go up and this will be good. The next exercise is an incline dumbbell press. So it's similar to the first one that we did, but the first one was on a flat bench, and this is a little bit of an incline while doing this. So the key to this workout, as you can see my hands, make sure your palms are facing away from you, the same grip that you are using with the flat bench dumbbell press. And again, your arms are gonna to wanna to go to about 90 degrees. Sometimes they go a little bit under 90 to really pinch and use my chest muscles and challenge them a little bit more. Once again, focus on maintaining control of the dumbbells throughout the entire workout. And for this superset, I am doing rope pull downs. I absolutely love these for triceps. They're probably one of my all time favorites. So you're gonna to wanna to get on a cable machine, put it up to the highest setting, attach a rope, attachment to it and then keep your elbows in tight against your body the whole town and use those triceps baby I feel like for beginners this exercise is very friendly it's kind of easy you can be off in your own little space in your own little bubble and you can just have your own little station and really focus on working your triceps I strongly feel like this is so effective just make sure your elbows are tight alongside your body and you're really just using that extension of your forearm each time and you're gonna feel the burn Next up, I am doing incline dumbbell flies. You can do this on a flat bench. I just chose to do it on an incline. Both work great. So for the form, you are gonna wanna make sure that your palms are facing each other. 
And make sure that you have a slight bend in your elbows and this helps prevent stress at your biceps. And you're gonna wanna lower your arms both sides until you have a wide arc and you're feeling a stretch in your chest. You're gonna really wanna focus and connect your mind to your muscle during this exercise and make sure that you are feeling this in your chest. Once again, try to maintain as much control as you can with the dumbbells. And also keep in mind that throughout this movement, your arms should remain pretty stationary and the only movement should occur at your shoulder joint. Next up are these plate presses. I feel like these are super non-intimidating and they are easy for a good beginner and they're a good introduction to working your chest muscles. So the key is to really just make sure you are squeezing that plate and the tighter you are squeezing it, the more your chest muscles are activated. And you're gonna keep your elbows out wide like shown and you're just gonna bring that plate back and forth. And for this superset, I am pairing that with these awesome tricep cable rows. I absolutely love these. I just discovered them as well, and I am completely obsessed with them. They work different parts of my tricep that I feel like have never been worked before. So I've set up my cable machine to where when I extend my elbow out, it is completely flat, and that extension is really what is going to really pull your tricep. So as you're extending, really focus on squeezing your tricep as much as you can, and you're really going to feel a good burn with these. If you know me, you know I love burnouts, and I love just one last movement or exercise that helps me feel like I am pushing my workout and giving it everything I have at the gym. So for this quick burnout, I am doing a tricep push-up so they're closer grip and my elbows are pretty tucked in and right alongside my body. And I was so tired, I had to drop to my knees and I'm doing the modified version. I don't think I could get a real push-up out. I was that sore. And I'm just bringing out, I'm doing as many as I can until failure. And now I moved out to a wider grip and I'm just doing a full-on push-up as many as I can. If you see my face, I am struggling. And that is the end of your workout. You made it, you burned through that workout, hopefully you're dead, muscles are dead, don't want you dying. So if you like that workout, give it a big fat thumbs up, you can subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from me, and you can follow me on Instagram for more daily fit tips and inspiration. So with that, thank you so much for watching my video, I will see you all next time, goodbye. Bye. Peace sign. To camera. Bye.